Yeah, it's kind of like when you're when you're playing just a few notes, depending on what you're playing it against, it, though, those notes are gonna are gonna have different meanings. Well, all right, anyway, I'm, I'm filming a video right now. I'll, I'll let you know. All right, thanks. Uh, well, okay, we're gonna talk about that right after this. Okay, my name is David Wallerman. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping guitar players around the world find their unique voice on the instrument, develop that voice to tell their own musical personality. Less is more. Why is less and more? How can less be more? Well, it kind of depends how you look at it. I'm not talking necessarily about the speed or technique, absolutely nothing against that. And yes, feel free to comment below. You're doing this video because you cannot play that fast. Yes. It's very true. I cannot play that fast, as fast as some of these shredders. And I, I have tons of admiration for them. This is not what it's about. This is about the nature of a note and the nature of human beings. All right, let me demonstrate about this backing track that of course you can get for free. This backing track here that we're gonna use during this video is an F sharp ale. And this backing track in the charts are available for you and uh, the natural minor scale will work over this. Okay, link is in the top line of the video description. Okay, let's talk a little bit about uh, human beings and conversations. When, uh, when you're having a conversation with someone, you typically will remember and commit to memory and have typically good memories or bad memories, but you will remember conversations that are more minimalistic to the point, right? If um, you're listening to a full political debate speech, you probably won't remember really everything. Now, if you're reading just a pamphlet of uh, bullet point things, you will remember. Or if someone tells you, you know, go to the grocery store, give me eggs. Well, maybe not. I forget that all the time, but you get the point, right? So that's what less is more means. A note by itself, and I've said that before many, many times, a note by itself is a sound, right? So if I play this note, it doesn't really mean anything. It might be a pleasant sound, but pi but the pitch itself is not doesn't carry any emotion to it. Now, if I play this pitch against something, maybe against this note, that note becomes something. It's telling you something. Yes, I'm talking about intervals, but in essence, a note can mean 12 different things, right? A note could be a root, could be a minor second, major second, minor third, and so forth. Okay, with that being said, if you really want to exploit the fact that a note can mean different things, a note carries emotion, and exploit the fact that humans remember simple things, simple conversations, that's what I mean by less is more. So on a track like this one, where we have um, multiple chords, we have one here, have another one there, and later on we'll have more than that. They're all part of the same scale family, which means that if I play that F sharp Aeolian, all the notes that you're hearing in the in the backing track, all instruments included, included. Are, are, are extracted from that alphabet, the F sharp Aeolian alphabet. Okay, now we said that a note by itself doesn't mean anything, it needs to be in relation to something else, and a note can mean different things. I've got the backing track here, and I'm gonna start singing something over this. So it's not directed by my ability to play scales or anything like that, I'm just singing. There's a few notes, and the important note is a landing one. So maybe we can do something like... Ba -da -ba -ba. Is the important one. Da -da -ba -ba. So, ba -da -ba -ba. has a feeling, right? Because of what's played against. Ba -da -ba -ba. Very similar feeling here because the bass is static for now. Da -da -da -da. Because the bass is ba -ba -ba -ba. The ba against ba means something. Now the bass is going to change. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Different meanings, right? Same note. So we've got the meaning bam, 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 bam. Two different meanings in one. Less is more. That means that you don't have to play a lot of notes to have 
more emotions. You can just stay there, let the track change. And that's something that I use all the time when I'm playing in, in uh, settings where I don't have time to practice the actual song. I just find a very simple melodic idea, repeat it, embellish it a little bit, but that's my stable thing. And then because of the chords changing in the back, it'll have different meanings. So we're gonna apply this. Now it's time to grab the instrument. All right, let's try to replicate what we had. La -da -da -da. Fish around. I love that method because it's not generated by licks that you've learned. Bum. So fish. Bum. There it is. I'm going to play that an octave higher. Okay, and we're going to play that now. Here it is. few notes and when the, the the backing track changes chords in just a little bit you'll hear that this becomes something else now of course you can embellish you're not just gonna play just embellish but that's the the home base Now we're kind of in that meaning. This note means this. It means something else, right? So that's what I had for you today. Just keep in mind that a note means a lot of different things and you have the potential by playing less to really utilize that. The listener will remember what you have to say more. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't play fast and, and, and shreddy technical licks. Those are awesome. But keep in mind that the listener probably will really remember and relate to those lesser amount of notes, which can have a bigger impact on the ears of the listener. All right, if this is your first visit, thank you so much. Like all the other videos, you can download the backing track in the charts below, it's free. Just uh, visit that top line in the description of this video and you can download the assets for this lesson. And if this was your first visit, thank you for stopping by. If you liked what you just saw, you can subscribe because every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, a new video comes out, just like this one, helping the top players around the world find their unique voice on the instrument, develop that voice to tell their own personal musical story. Thanks so much for watching this. I'll see you next time.